Heather has arthrogryposis, which is a condition where two or more major joints don't have very good mobility from birth on. He simply doesn't have a lot of mobility in his joints, so he can't walk on his own, he needs a wheelchair. But on top of that, he can't even move his wheelchair in the typical way, the way wheelchairs are normally moved, because he doesn't have that kind of mobility in his shoulder, his elbow, his wrist, his hand, none of it. A power chair isn't an option for him because they're very, very big, they're very, very heavy. They can't get in and out of their car, it doesn't work in their home, so it's just simply not an option for him. So he needs a manual wheelchair that he can manually push with his own, within his own abilities. When I first got, got here, people had to push me around almost, well, the whole time, because I couldn't move the wheelchair by myself. The project to develop a better wheelchair for Pedro was actually pitched in NG120 in spring 2011. That was the first semester that Engineering 120 was offered at Rice. What I quickly learned is that the project was very challenging for first year engineering students. Over time, a number of teams have tackled this problem and then finally we got a team that stuck. So I very vividly remember the day that, that the project changed. We didn't really think that we were gonna be able to do it. We were like, you know, when, when does this end? Like, what, like, when does Rice say that this can't be done? Because at that point, we didn't think it could be done. And Dr. Satterbeck says, you guys are the last hope. So like, if you guys can't do it, then we tell Pedro that he doesn't get a wheelchair. Just like, all right, like, this is it. Like, failure is not an option. We have to do, you know, anything and whatever it takes and learn everything we have to do to get this kid a wheelchair, because we just can't fail him. The biggest challenge with Pedro is that he can't pull his muscles back, he can't retract his arms. So we really had to go through and find a way that he could, you know, use a wheelchair and, you know, the rowing motion we have is great and then pulling it back has a lot of problems with it, but we've faced them all and gone through to make sure that he can actually use a motion to move the wheelchair. So we actually found this product that exists currently called the Widget, which we used as our gearing system. And while the widget is great, we still had to make additional modifications so that Pedro could use it. We have a couple of really neat features on the wheelchair. One of them is we were able to take a pair of standard bicycle caliper brakes and invert their direction so that they grab onto the wheelchair in the direction not normally used in a bicycle. And this allowed us to be able to change the way that typical hand caliper brakes are just a squeeze motion. We were able to adjust it so that it's a knee flare. Um, actually outwards that allows him to engage the brakes on both sides independently which gives him a greater turning radius on either side. We've gotten to work with a lot of different people. I mean Reed is an art history major so we've spanned everywhere from engineering to even the art side of campus. I mean I had absolutely no idea but I think I came to the school with this in mind. In a very abstract sense I wanted to be around something that I thought would be different than I would get going to a place um, perhaps more curtailed towards my particular interests. And I wanted to be around this type of environment where I would be pushed in different directions, uh, you know, to end up, I guess, on the what, sixth floor of Shiner's Hospital. <laughs> it's been a real gift. Nice. Thank you for your time, for your dedication, for everything. No, for there are no words to express that. Mm -hmm. Pedro's mom especially was so overcome with emotion at the end and she kept saying how she didn't have the words to describe what was going on but she didn't need them because like the feeling of the moment and like the evidence of Pedro racing his sister down the hallway and being able to do all these things for the first time like that transcended like anything that words could have said.